Welcome to the YouTube channel. I have a prophecy that was given concerning a future president and I have a video clip that really very few people at least the past several years have never seen that happened here on November 29th, 1998. And I'm in the location where three things took place at once related to what I'm about to tell you. Now, no matter who you voted for for president in the past, you got to hear this story because it's an absolutely incredible story. In 1998, in the month of April, I awoke from a sleep at six o'clock in the morning and I heard these words, it is my will for the governor of Texas to be the next president of the United States. I didn't know who the governor of Texas was. I went to my office, I told some of my workers that, and uh, it ended up being George Bush. I called him George Bush Jr. That was not, he was not George Bush Jr., but I didn't know any better. So in November of 1998, we came to Israel on a tour. And we were at the, on the Temple Mount, and we were actually taping some by permission of the waft there, the Islamic leader there, that we could tape some footage there on the Temple Mount. And we were eating hummus, pita bread and hummus, with two of the guards that are up on the mount. All of a sudden, someone came in, <coughs> excuse me, and it may have been Charlie, who's behind the camera, and they said, Bush is at the Western Wall. And I said, but what are you talking about, Bush? And I thought, Dad Bush, George W., who had uh, previously been president. He said, no, the guy you told me would be president. I said, no, he's not. So we, we were on a ramp. Let me show you the ramp we were on. It didn't have wood on it then. We were on this ramp. We were right up here at this entrance up there. You can see it. And I stepped outside and Bush and the governor of Massachusetts and several others, this is George, the governor of Texas at that time, is walking from here toward the wall. And I said, Charlie, Charlie, uh, start the cameras. And you're gonna see this clip where I say this, George W. Bush is at the wall. You might be looking at the next president of the United States. This is November 29th, 1998. Watch this clip right now, an actual clip from that moment. George Bush Jr., Governor of Texas, is at the Western Wall. He's visiting the states. I mean, visiting Israel today. And uh, I believe you might be looking at the next president of the United States. All right, now here's what happened. So we left the area where we were, and we came down from the ramp, and we came down here, and Charlie had the camera. He had a big television camera. He's standing right over here where that green sign is, and he's taping me, and I'm walking up to Governor Bush, shaking his hands, and the security guys are trying to push us off and not, not, not allow us to tape. And I told him uh, who I was. He said, where are you from? I said, Tennessee. And I said that my people want you to run for president. This is November 98. And so I'm gonna show you the clip that very few people have seen of that actual moment taking place in November 29th, 1998. Here it is right here. Yeah, I got about 150 Americans here. Uh, Cleveland, Tennessee. And they all want you to run for president. So I want to encourage you. Okay. God bless you, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, Barry. Okay. Now, uh, I don't know if we have pictures of this or not. We don't, I'm not going to take a lot of time to throw a lot of pictures at, but this, this, these are documented. Then he, he took off from that moment and he walked up these steps. Now, right halfway up the steps, we have photographs of where our people are meeting him. And some of the people already heard me tell about that the Lord told me that it was his will. It was his will for the governor of Texas to be the next president. So they start telling him he needs to run for president. Well, he had just been reelected governor. Uh, it, this was uh, a few weeks before in 1998. Well, making a long story short, and I, I, can't, I can't go into all the details, but making a long story short, he later told some people that it was in Israel. He rode a helicopter with, I believe, Errol Sharon, I believe at that time, and they went to the Golan Heights, and that's where he made his decision through prayer that he would run for president of the United States. Now, of course, you know what happened in the year 2020. I mean, all the massive confusion about the chads and the vote, and he won, he didn't win but he ended up being the president of the United States. Of course, I went on television when all of the votes were still up at odds. There was a 300 point difference in Florida. Uh, you know, the Lord even told me that, told uh, Joe Van Coovering that uh, Florida would determine who the president was gonna be. There, there's so much to this story. We have a tape where I was preaching in a vault where we talked about what was gonna happen, where we talked about meeting him in Israel. Joe Van Coovering was with us when that happened, so he remembered it. So anyway, that was a prediction from the 1998 that he would be president. He was president for eight years, uh, during 9-11, by the way. And, and I asked some of my Jewish friends here at the time, this was, this was when the election took place, my Jewish friends wanted Al Gore to be president because Al Gore had a 
vice president that he had by the name of Joe Lieberman, who was Jewish, and of course they wanted a Jewish vice president. But when 9-11 happened, they said, we're thankful, this, now they, these are Jewish people in Israel, they said to me, we're thankful that Bush got in because if you'd have had a Jewish vice president with 9-11, uh, the, the Muslim countries would have never allowed you to come in with the war on terror, not, not Afghanistan or those countries like that because they would have felt like a Jewish vice president was controlling things. So that's a whole other story. That was told me here. So that is an amazing thing. And when I come here, I still remember that day, November 29th, uh, 1998, when we shook hands and said that to him. And I'm not gonna say any more about this, but we were able to, uh, to uh, not, not meet him after that, but he sent me a picture. I do have a picture of this picture where I met him at the wall. My sister sent the picture to the, the, to them and he signed it best wishes to w bush it's a picture that i have i have it to this day and that's the actual picture where i shook hands with him and said my people want you to run for president so i don't know if you ever heard that story whether you like the guy or not totally insignificant it's already passed it served eight years but um that that happened here in israel so that goes to show you that the lord knows the future he knows who's supposed to be in who's not supposed to be in so all right give it a thumbs up if you if you like these kind of stories and uh, of course, this was documented by video and picture photographs, which we're thankful for. And uh, we want you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Some of you outside the U.S., Canada, Latin America, you guys overseas need to subscribe to the channel. So do that if you've not done that. And I appreciate that very much. And always there's a little advertisement at the end of, a, of something we have available to you. Great to be here in Israel. It's a beautiful day. I'm looking right at the sun. Sun is rising. I'm looking at the sun. I'm not supposed to do that with these, you know, look at the sun. But a beautiful day. Let's get one more picture. I, I apologize for the crazy jackhammer. Can't do a thing about that. I know you're picking that up. And I hope it's not interfering with the sound too much of what I'm saying, but nothing we can do. When you tape live like this, you know, you can't do anything about the sounds and the, and the, and the, you know, the people that jump in front of the camera and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, thank you for joining me and I appreciate the, you allowing me to share that story with you. God bless you. It's time to learn what you don't know about your future. Now available is Perry Stone's new landmark prophetic book, Your Journey into Eternity, Life for the Next Thousand Years. Discover what occurs the moment your inner eyes are opened at death and your spirit returns to God. Journey through the three levels of heaven, including paradise where Christian martyrs rest. Learn about the new body you will receive at Christ's return or at the resurrection and why the dead at times appear in dreams and what memories you have after death. Learn about the marriage supper in heaven from a Hebraic perspective and what the Bible teaches about the new heaven, new earth, and new Jerusalem coming down. Perry unlocks the mystery of babies in heaven, including miscarried and aborted infants. Perry also explains what our thousand year reign with Christ will look like on earth. Read Perry's parabolic revelation about what if God said yes to the dead? Will your family circle be unbroken in eternity? Perry presents often untaught insights using his 46 years of in-depth biblical research from the Old and New Testaments. The book includes incredible Greek and Hebrew word studies, as well as amazing stories that reveal secrets of life after death, events in heaven, and life on the new earth. Perry is also including an audio teaching the Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony, that his friends say is the most interesting biblical teaching from the book of Revelation he has ever taught. In this teaching, Perry shares secrets in Heaven's Temple, the most important building in Heaven, where all human records and tribulation judgment files are kept. It is here where you will stand at the judgment seat before Christ's throne and give a face-to-face -face account of what the angels have written about you, from birth to death, including all your idle words, and how you treated others. This is a teaching that will alert you to what you say and cause you to guard your words and actions. The landmark new book and two hour audio teaching is available for your gift of just $35 or more to help keep manifest on the air around the world. To order this offer, visit perrystone.org or call toll free 1-888-21-BREAD. That's 1-888-212-7323. You can also order by sending $35 to Perry Stone Ministries, P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320, and request offer ET143 when ordering. We look forward to hearing from you soon. If you enjoyed this YouTube content, there's an important website you should know about, perrystone.org. 
carrystone.org is an essential resource for the latest books, audiovisual presentations, and digital products from Perry Stone Ministries, resources that cover the same kinds of topics discussed in the program you just watched. Stop in and see all that's available at perrystone.org.